Someone send these to Sandra Bullock. Stat! Bake it with Betty! Hello, and welcome to Bake It With Betty. We're gonna bake one of my favorite cookies called a Suvaroff. Aha! What are you, French? We will be after eating these cookies. This is a baking book that my mom got me when I got really into baking a couple years ago. And I found Suvaroffs. Yes, the Suvaroff. And they're so easy to throw together. They're basically two little shortbread bickies with some jam in the middle. Dust them with a little icing sugar and all of your imperfections disappear and it's just the best cookie in the world. So the biscuits are so easy to make. It's flour, sugar, butter, vanilla salt. Sugar, butter, flour. That's for my Broadway people. So here I have two cups of sifted flour. I'm going to add 14 tablespoons of butter, soft at room temp, half a cup of sugar, which I'm gonna sift in because I like to sift all of my dry ingredients. Half a teaspoon of salt. Sometimes I'm a little more generous with my salt because I think it cuts the sweetness. And one teaspoon of vanilla, but if there's one thing you know about me, I never measure vanilla. So that's just gonna be about half a cap full, I reckon. Uh, I made a mess. That's uh, what I should put on an apron is bake it with Betty, I made a mess. So this is my favorite part. We're just gonna get right in there. Crumb the butter in the flour until it resembles a breadcrumb mixture. And then we're gonna start bringing it together. I'm sort of pinching the butter in between my thumbs with the flour just to kind of break it up and make it smaller and smaller pieces of butter. And then it's all gonna come together to be the perfect dough. One of my favorite little moments in Hades Town was after me and Philip dance and our love is sort of finally has come together again. We stand on stage for what feels like 10 trillion, it might be four minutes. And when you're standing in somebody's arms on stage in silence, trying to stand as still as you possibly can, that is a true eternity. So we just try and make each other laugh. And I know that's not very professional, but that's just the kind of silly geese that we are. This is starting to resemble a nice breadcrumb mixture. Look at that. So now I'm gonna kind of start like pushing it together and starting to try and form my dough here. Who do I want to collaborate with? I've always wanted to work with Tegan and Sarah because my, my queer little teenage hot feels like that's like a really important full circle moment for me one day. So now that my dough has kind of come together to this point, I kind of want to knead it a little bit, not too much because I don't want to overdevelop the gluten. I don't know what that accent was. I don't want to overdevelop the gluten, so I'm not going to knead it for forever. Just a little bit, so it looks a little nicer. It kind of will reach a consistency where I start to feel like, I go like, yeah, that's, that's cookie dough. I think the number one mistake I made heading into Broadway was thinking that I would have a life at all. I woke up late, tried to stretch and eat, and then I was back at the theater before I knew what to do with myself, and that just felt like every day. And then people would be like, you wanna go out for a drink after the show? And I'd be like, no, I'm so tired. I'm, I was just power saving all the time to try and give my all to the show. Oh, and while I was talking, ha, look at this. Look at this sexy little bowl I've got going on here. She looks so nice. Um, so can I have the glad wrap, sir? Loaf toss. So I'm just gonna wrap this little baby up. Sweet little darling. Oh yeah, she looks real nice. I'm gonna put that in the fridge and let it sit for 20 minutes. You can put it in the freezer and take it out, you know, months later, if that's your pleasure. My dough bowl has come out of the fridge after 20 minutes. I'm not gonna roll all of it out at the same time. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off and put the rest of it back in the fridge while I work with the piece that I'm using. There's a Goldilocks thickness for these cookies, but it really is dealer's choice. If you like them a little girthier than thicker, I err on the thinner side, but we're gonna see. It's really about the roll. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour, prepare my surface. I love to roll. What's my favorite movie of all time? It is a tie between Singing in the Rain and Miss Congeniality, but I guess Miss Congeniality wins because I technically, I have a tattoo of Sandra Bullock in Miss Congeniality right here. If I could bake anything specifically for Sandra Bullock, I actually might make her these cookies. Do you think Sandra Bullock will accept this batch of cookies if I mail it to her? Anybody got Sandra Bullock's mailing address? Don't answer that, in fact, never mind. Forget I asked. This is my perfect little cookie cutter. There's a set on Amazon you can get that has every size of circle, or you can use, if you can find a small gloss, other household appliances work great in a pinch if you're in need of a cookie cutter. Just peeling away all of the excess cookie dough from outside of the circle and we'll come back for them and use that to roll out next time. And I saw something on the internet that I'm gonna try. I saw that if you take your butter sticks and you save the inside of them and put them in the freezer, you can use them later 
to grease your pans. Hey, it works great. Wow, thanks internet. I have my trusty tiny spatula. I'm gonna put a little bit of, dip it in a bowl of flour a little bit, and we'll see if I can't just get these babies up like, oh, oh God, it's satisfying. Who know? In my experience, these cookies don't spread a ton, so you can actually kind of like crowd them in a little bit on the cookie tray. Oh, you wanna know about BW5, you say? I'm working on new music, yes. I think this summer. You'll hear stuff this summer. Yeah, yeah. If you're rolling out any kind of dough and you don't have one of these marble slabs or a surface that you feel like good about, take two sheets of parchment paper and you can lay your dough directly in between them. You can roll out the dough in between the parchment paper. We're gonna cut it out on this piece here still. Same technique, just taking out all of the excess biscuit dough. If you can't seem to get under them and be able to pull the cookies up without making them a crazy shape, this is a great trick for you. See? Kind of falls right off into your hands. So. Look at that. Any dietary restrictions or are you one of God's favorites is the question. I guess I'm one of God's favorites. I kind of eat everything. I have 20 cookies here. Yet again, you know that my placement on these trays stays chaotic, baby. <laughs> we st Never mind. We've got 20 cookies here. So I'm gonna bake these little cookies between seven and 10 minutes at 350. And then we're gonna take them out. We're gonna assemble them and it's gonna get really cute. You're not ready for how cute it's gonna get. Let's bake. Fresh out of the oven, our cute little shortbread bickies. We're gonna transfer them to a wire rack to let them cool. And then we're gonna assemble them into tiny little jam sandwiches that are just the cutest little things you ever did see. Using the same spatula, I'm gonna transfer them off. Ow, I burned myself. Uh. <gasps> That color is so nice though, that brown. I actually think these came out perfect. So let's take our cooled cookies, put a little bit of raspberry preserve in there. This is probably my favorite jam. Bon maman. Which is perfect for our subachos. You're gonna take a cookie? You're gonna take a little bit of jam. Probably a little too much jam, but you're gonna find your sweet spot. Yes, you are. I like to put my jam right in the middle and then push out. Yeah, I think that's about right so that it almost comes out the side. Oh, don't worry about, don't look at that. We're gonna clean it right up. And the last touch, that's something that I do a lot with baking because it makes everything look way more professional and nice when really it's just some shortbread and jam, is we're gonna put some powdered sugar over these babies. Just a dusting, just a dusting. And now they look absolutely beautiful. What do I do now? <laughs> Should I eat one? I'm scared. No, I'm not. Oh, this one's not, look at this. This one has a really nice jam ratio. They're skinny little bickies. Oh, I'm like excited. Damn it, these cookies are good. Mmm. You can use any flavor of jam. If you're an orange girly, if you're a, a strawberry, a blackberry currant, you can do whatever the freak you want. God, this is good. Someone send these to Sandra Bullock. Stat. All right. See you next time. Until we bake again. Ha ha ha. Okay, bye. Bake it with Betty.